A month ago, all smiles at the Likud party faction meeting. But one imagines, not these days, with Israel's ruling party at odds with itself. Some lawmakers wanting a hard-line tack on judicial overhaul. Some wanting to step back. And Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu staying mostly quiet. The effectiveness of the protest movement is first and foremost with the faults within the Likud. The voices being raised by Likud officials, members of parliament, ministers, and those close to Benjamin Netanyahu. The fissures in the Likud ranks point to a bumpy road ahead. The new plan for picking judges launched this week has fallen flat. Not splitting the opposition, not taming the protesters, and not changing economic forecasts that are as grim as ever. What will happen if? I have news for you. It's happening. It's already started happening. If you look at foreign investors, they're not investing. If you look at Israeli institutional investors, they want to invest abroad. In the meantime, legislation is moving forward, with the judicial selection bill being voted out of committee, heading for final votes next week. And the coalition still saying other parts of the overhaul will go forward after the upcoming Passover recess. But the headwinds are there. That split in the Likud. Those economic forecasts, pushback from governments abroad, and the numbers and momentum of protesters in the streets. So get ready for Thursday, the day of national paralysis, with the protest movement saying it will block roads and cause disruption. Yet again.